Hello, good afternoon, sir. My name yeah. is Charles Atkinson, and I'm calling you from PICO, the disconnection department. We just received a disconnection work order here for the account number ending in... It's not giving me your account here. Give me a second. Okay. This is for Mr. Masher. Yep. Give me a second here. And the address I have here is 351 West North Avenue in East Palestine, Ohio. Four 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 one three. Yeah, you have you a disconnection, right sir, within the next forty-five. What? You have a disconnection, sir, within the next forty-five minutes, sir. It says here for lack of payment on the account. Did you receive your new account number yet, Mr. Masher? No, no. By any chance? Thank you. Much, okay, sir. that's what it is, sir. It's the billing system update. At the beginning of November, the beginning of December, sir, we became an Exxon company. We joined together with BG&E, Atlantic City, um, Pico, and a few others, sir. Um, we, you know, everybody in the East Coast, all the electric companies, we became one. What happened was we <laughs> lost the contract with Chase, and we we have a new contract with the Bank of America, sir. Um, all of our we have a few clients that didn't update to the new billing system. You said Bank of America they now. Need a, it's uh yeah, the Bank of America now, sir. That's correct. Um, let me transfer you over to the actual company itself, Mr. Masher, so that they could properly assist you and update your billing, okay, and everything for you here. Give me a yeah. second here. Yeah. I do have a, I do have an amount due here of three eighty nine seventy six, but this is probably for the past three months, sir. Let me transfer yeah, you over to the actual be. company itself, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm working diligently on your behalf, Mr. Masher. No worries. Oh, okay. Oh, he's working diligently for me. Thank you for choosing Pico's Payment Apartment. My name is Corey. This call is being recorded for quality and training purposes. Who may I have the pleasure of speaking with? And how may I assist you today? Mr. 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 Masher, what, hey, something about a, a disconnect on my account. I don't know. I don't have much time. I'm going to make this quick and get this solved. So what can I do? Just give you the credit card here or what? Okay, Mr. Masher, please let me allow me a brief second, sir. From what it does show here in the system, Mr. Masher, it does show that you do have an outstanding delinquent balance on your account for the amount of $498.12. No, it's four ninety eight. On your account. Yes, sir. It was 300 with the last guy. Now it's 400 that... Jesus. Okay. From what it does show here, it does show that you do have the outstanding balance of $498.12. Um, if you'd like to make a payment, I can assist you with making a payment. Or would you like us to continue with the disconnection, Mr. Masher? Well, no, I don't want you to disconnect it. Of course, I guess a highway robbery. I guess I'll have to pay it. And I, what about the money that I already paid? Okay, sir. If you feel that this is that this decision was made in error, sir, after we after you make the payment, we can submit a claim on your behalf, sir. And once the claim is submitted, sir, they'll have about twenty. They'll have between twenty four to forty eight hours for the account and apartment to respond to your request, sir. Once they'll do an investigation. Uh, I'm going to talk to my lawyer. They're not going to get that one. Huh? I'm going to talk to my lawyer. They're not going to get that long. And if, it not... and if it proven that there was an error made in the system, sir, the money will be automatically reimbursed back into your account. Okay, sir? Please be aware, sir, that when you're making an express payment in order to avoid a disconnection, credit card, debit card, payments online, and payments by check approximately, approximately take between four to eight hours for those payments to be processed, and that would not prevent the disconnection, sir. If you would like to prevent your disconnection what? from taking place, sir, you have to make the express payment, sir, which is using a new platform that we do have available for express payment, which is Quick Payment with Zelle, sir. Are you familiar with Quick Payment with Zelle, sir? Yeah, I know what Zelle is. Yeah, I know it. Okay, sir, then it'll be fairly easy. So once you log into the Zelle, notify me. Let me know when you add the re request. Send request and split, and well, all you have to do well, is He just said you were Bank of America call. now. Can I just tell Bank of America to transfer it over? The bank of to your account no, over sir, there? You have to, no, sir. No, sir. You have to make the payment yourself manually, sir. So if you're using okay, Bank of America, all you have to right. do is go to the pay and transfer section. Let me know where you have to send request and split part, sir. Okay, well, just go ahead and send me the details What, do you, what on the Zelle. You know, sir, I'm going to walk you through the process, sir. Let me I know. Don't, I don't need my handheld. I just need the information. I understand that, sir, but I have to stay with you on the line because I do need the confirmation of the payment in order to avoid your disconnection from taking place, sir. If you let me walk you through the process, it'll be it'll be fast and easier, and we can... Okay, sir? 
Let me okay, whatever, you. whatever, man, whatever. Let's just allocation. do this. All right, fine. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, I got to add a, add a recipient. Who who do I put in here? Pico at the top or who now? Yes, sir. Put Pico, sir. Pico. Business name is Pico. Got it. I don't know why I put Pico there if I pay Pico and then... Ah, Jesus. Sir, you have to put P... <laughs> you have to put Pico for first name, sir. And energy for last name, doesn't have first sir, name. Okay? That's business name. No, sir. You don't put a business, sir. You put, you, that's when you're making it to your business account. Since, you have, since your home is a personal, you have to put personal accounts. That's your personal home, sir, okay? Since it's not all your right. business location. All right, all right, all okay, right. Okay, sir? So let me know where you're at the personal location, sir. I'm there. I backed out. I'm personal? there. Yeah, no, I okay. put Pico and for I first name. You for, yes, and last name, you will oh, put energy, Jesus sir. E-N-G. You will put first name, you will put Pico. Last name, you will put E-N-G. Just E N G, okay. Yes. It's not the abbreviation yep. for energy, but okay. What and then what about say? a phone number, or email? Hello. Yes, sir. Which will be five one three. Your mobile meeting number will be five one three. Yeah. Two one six. Uh huh. Zero one eight eight. All right. Ned, then you I don't need an email. Continue. I don't need an email on that. No, sir. No email. Continue. Let me know All when right. you're at the amount section. I'm at the amount section. It's four ninety-eight twelve, right? Yes, sir. All right. All right. I got it in there. Then what does it tell you to do? Okay. Now what does it tell you, sir? It should be. <laughs> it should send you a six-digit verification code, sir, to notify you that you did make this payment, sir. So no, please confirm the six-digit verification. It, you don't have to provide it to me, but you have to enter it back into Zelle, sir. Okay, yeah, I'm putting it back into Zelle now. Okay, and now what does it tell you, sir? Pending. There you go, Bill. Hello, Mr. Zell. Hello, Mr. Zell. Zell. Mr. Masher, what does it say? It's it's pending, I guess. It's what got a little it spinning thing. What does it say? It's a little thing spinning. Okay, so just okay. Give it a few seconds, sir. Did you did you make sure that you put the action? I am. You're the one that's in a hurry here, not me. Okay, sir. You told me you was in a rush and you wanted to get it done, so I was just assisting you, sir. It says Terry Mackey True Bostike. What is that? What does it say, sir? I uh, no, 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 no. I wasn't talking to you. I'm talking to somebody and else. Now, what does it say, sir? Is it, is it still spinning? Does it's, it yeah, say it's that still the payment was confirmed? What does it say? Yeah, okay, it's still give spinning. it a few more seconds, sir. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You, you can report to Zells, right, Bill? We don't need booty for that. Because I'm just going to basically disconnect the call here in just a minute. Okay, Boo's got it. He's gone. Yep, oh, just transaction failed. Does it say transaction failed? What did you do wrong? Okay, let's go to the beginning and wrong. let me walk you step. Let me walk you step by step. Okay, let's go to the beginning again. Okay, let's hold on. Let's hold on. Hold on. I got a text message. Hold on. I got a. I got a text message. Okay, you have to respond. You might have to respond to that text message to say yes. Uh, it says the the Zell count was invalid. Let me tell, let me give you that. He said it was Pico okay, ENG. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, no. Okay, no. Let's go to the beginning. Okay, let's just do it slow, but one step at a time. Where right. where are you at exactly at now, sir? What do you see now? Do you see where it says send, request, and split? Do you see that? Send. Send. Okay, I want you to click on send. Click on send. There you go. Okay. Okay, now we're Mark, right. they won't know. They're from the Dominican Republic. Last name. Is that correct? Yes. There you will put Pico, sir. For first name. And last yep. name, you will put E-N-G. Short yep. for energy. Okay, now it's going to ask you for a mobile number. Is that correct? Mobile number, email. Yep. Okay, the mobile number that you have to put would be your meter number, which would be 5... 
one, three, two, one, six, zero, one, eight, eight, sir. Uh huh. Okay, yep, now that's what I put tell last you, time. Gonna tell you to, okay, now I should tell you to continue. So tell you save and continue. Yep. Okay, now what do you see? Are you in the amount section now? Yep, and I put the 498.12. Okay. okay, no, no, don't put the 498.12 again. Put 498.13 so the system doesn't duplicate the payment, sir. Since it already rejected it, as you say the first time, the one cent will be credited back to your account immediately, okay? So you have uh, okay. to put 498.13, okay? Okay, yeah, 498.13, got it, got it, got it. Okay, but be aware, sir, you have to be aware, okay, that is going to send you a six-digit verification code and an mm. email, and you have yeah. to respond to the code. Yep. You have to respond to the six-digit yep. verification yep. and the email, okay? Yep. You have to respond with a yes. Yep. Uh, so now let me know, what do you see now? Where are you at now? I'm checking the email now. It's the email says, Tu madre es un punta pendejo. What is that? What the fuck does that mean? The hell? See 